What do you think? I think it's like a wax museum with a pulse. Hi, I'm Buddy. What can I get you? Let's see. Steak, steak, steak. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's Douglas Sirk steaks. Have that. How do you want that cooked? Run to a crisp or bloody as hell? Bloody as hell and, oh, yeah, look at this. Vanilla Coke. What about you, Peggy Sue? I'll have the Durward Kirby Burger, bloody, and a $5 shake. Hey, with that shake, Martin and Lewis or Amos and Andy? Martin and Lewis. Did you just order a $5 shake? Mm-hmm. That's a shake. That's milk and ice cream. Last I heard. That's $5. You don't put bourbon in or nothing? No. Just check me. I'll be right back with your drinks. Could you, um, roll me one of those, cowboy? You can have this one, cowgirl. Thanks. Think nothing of it. So, Marsala said you just got back from Amsterdam. Sure did. How long were you there? Uh, just over three years. I go there about once a year to chill out for a month. No kidding. I didn't know that. Why would you? I heard you did a pilot. That was my 15 minutes. What was it? It was a show about a team of female secret agents called Fox Force 5. What? Fox Force 5. Fox as in we're a bunch of foxy chicks. Force as in we're a force to be reckoned with. And five as in there's one, two, three, four, five of us. There was a blonde one, Somerset O'Neill. She was a leader. The Japanese fox was a kung fu master. The black girl was a demolition expert. French Fox's speciality was sex. What was your specialty? Knives. The character I played, Raven McCoy, her background was she grew up raised by circus performers. According to the show, she was the deadliest woman in the world with a knife. And she knew a zillion old jokes her grandfather, an old vaudevillian, taught her. And if we would have got picked up, they would have worked in a gimmick where every show I would have told another joke. You know any animal jokes? Well, I only got the chance to say one, because we only did one show. Tell me. It's corny. Don't be that way. Tell me. Nah, you wouldn't like it and I'd be embarrassed. You'd be embarrassed. You told like 50 million people, and you can't tell me? I promise I won't laugh. That's what I'm afraid of, Vince. That's not what I meant. You know it. Well, now I'm definitely not going to tell you because it's been built up too much. <sighs> what a jip. Martin and Lewis. Vanilla Coke. <laughs> mm. Yummy. You think I can have a sip of that? Be my guest. I gotta know what a five dollar shake tastes like. You can use my straw. I don't have cooties. Yeah, but maybe I do. Cooties I can handle. All right. God damn, it's a pretty fucking good milkshake. Told you. I don't know if it was worth five dollars. It was pretty fucking good.
Don't you hate that? Hate what? Uncomfortable silences. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit in order to be comfortable? I don't know. That's a good question. That's when you know you found somebody really special. And you can just shut the fuck up for a minute, comfortably share silence. Well, I don't think we're quite there yet, but don't feel bad. We just met each other. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and powder my nose. And you sit here and think of something to say. I'll do that.